Well, the story is set in um, 1870 and 1871, mostly, and it concerns the arrest outside the Strand Theatre of Miss Stella Bolton and Mrs. Fanny Winifred Graham, nay Park, known to one and all as Fanny and Stella. Miss Stella Bolton was beautiful with her raven dark hair and her blue violet eyes. She had the most beautiful soprano singing voice and when she was dragged up nobody could tell that she was a man dressed as a woman. Fanny Park on the other hand was decidedly plain. When she was dragged up she was handsome rather than beautiful but she found it hard to find men. Stella Bolton, of course, could walk out into the streets and be besieged by young men, desperate to fall in love with her. Fanny had to put rather more effort into it. Fanny and Stella were extraordinary. They were extraordinary young men. Um, quite where they came from, nobody, knew, nobody knows, because by the age of 20 and 21, they were fully-fledged drag queens. And at the same time as going to the theatre and having beaux and followers and gentlemen callers, they also lived on the streets. They worked as prostitutes, as male prostitutes. Stella was arrested on at least two occasions soliciting men in the Haymarket. And on several occasions they were rejected from the Burlington Arcade for propositioning men. Fanny and Stella posed a huge challenge to Victorian society. They were effeminate young men who sold their bodies to men for money. In a society that hated effeminacy, despised sodomy, thought that it was the work of the devil. So you couldn't really get much more of a challenge. Every time they went out in drag, every time they went, had sex with a man, they risked being arrested, charged, convicted and imprisoned. The prison sentences for sodomy were 10 years to life, a minimum of 10 years, a maximum of life. But everybody knows that if you went into a Victorian prison, you might last two or three years. I think it's um, absolutely not a curiosity. I think it's one of the most important and significant trials of the 19th century in terms of gender, in terms of sexuality, and in terms of identity. It was probably as significant as the Oscar Wilde trial in 1895. I think Fanny and Stella were heroes, heroines. They were very courageous. They were young, feather-pated young men who liked to dress up as women and perform on the stage in drag, sing songs, and have uh, an inconsequential life. But fate decreed that they were going to be arrested and subjected to a state trial in Westminster Hall. That was their destiny. And I think they met that destiny with courage, determination and great bravery. They could have run away. They chose not to. They chose to stay and face their accusers. And I think it was an act of almost superhuman courage.